YouTubers, it's Audrey again from the Kurtz Corner, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a welcome sign for your front porch or for your front door if you live in an apartment. Um, I'm all about change, as you can tell. I've had about three different hair colors in the past six months, so I could probably redecorate my entire house on a regular basis if I had the money to, but I don't because I have a five-month-old baby and I'm a stay-at-home mom. So. A good way to do that is by sprucing up your house with easy DIY projects that are inexpensive, fun, and fast to make. So today I'm going to show you how to make the welcome sign that you saw in the beginning of the video and I'll go ahead and jump into it because it's really hard to make videos with a five month old. He's upstairs and I can hear him. He's starting to wake up. So I don't have much time. So this is going to be a quick video and let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the materials you need for this DIY project. For this project you will need one one by four, wood stain, a paintbrush, one inch nails, yarn, crown molding cut at 45 degree angles, and wood glue. Okay, now that you have all the materials that you need, the first step would be to sand down all of the wood that you're going to be staining, if you choose to stain it. You can do whatever you want. You can paint your wood, you can leave it just um, natural, or you can stain it. So this is what my board ended up looking like. So it's got a nice walnut color, and I think it turned out really well. So this is what I wanted to go for, and it was really inexpensive. The piece of wood was only like, five dollars at Home Depot and then the crown molding that I used was only like three dollars per stick. Uh, I had to buy two so that I could frame this board so it was really really inexpensive. If you choose to use crown molding you're going to glue on the pieces of crown molding so I've already done that and let that dry for at least a few hours so that it stays sturdy in place. So make sure you use wood glue and not just regular glue because wood glue is made for wood and it's really strong. So that's what uh, I've done here. And then once that was all dried, I went ahead and already did one letter that you can see here, which is the H for home. And I used the big wide nail brackets, as you can see. So I liked that. I liked the look with the the wide nail head. So you can do it with the thin ones, you can do it with whatever you choose. You can do multiple nails or you can just do a few like I did. You can even paint the top of the nails with a color if you want to make it stand out. It's totally up to you. This is just the basics of it. So I already went ahead and did one letter. I did the H. You can see it there. And I'm gonna add to that so I have some yarn that's gonna bring out the color and you'll be able to see it from my front porch really easily. So the yarn that I'm using today is Lion Brand's Unique Yarn is what it looks like. It's really cool because it's kind of like this twill or tweed looking striped yarn. I love it. It comes in multiple different colors. This one in particular is called Jewel. So I like it just because it kind of brings out the colors from the outside of my house because my house is red. So you can choose whatever yarn you want. A thinner yarn is gonna be best so that you can wrap it around the nails multiple times. Um, but be sure to check out my sponsors, Lion Brand. You can go to their website at lionbrand.com and check out all the yarns that they have for sale and use it in your next yarn crafting project. So first to get started, if you are totally awesome and you can freehand these letters, more props to you. I needed to cut out letters to help me uh, to use it as a guide. So I just cut out letters. Um, I printed them from Word and then cut them out. And then I'm gonna lay them on my board and then I'm gonna put the nails around them to kind of create an outline and then you just pick it up. And then start with your yarn wrapping. So now I'm going to show you how I put my nails on. So I'll point the camera down there and you can see. Okay, so I've already done my H, which I will add to that later. And you don't have to do an outline. You can actually go back and forth or do whatever you want. The more nails you have, um, the more of a webby look it'll, it'll look like if you can go back and forth between the nails or just do a simple outline like I did. Um, so what I'll do after I've done my first letter, I just keep adding my letters and spacing them where I want them to go. And then I'm going to take my nails, and again, you can use... Um, the skinny nail heads or the thick nail heads, I chose to use the thick ones. You can paint them or just leave them plain like that and put as many or as little as you want. So literally just put the nail on the outside of your uh, letter and then go ahead and start hammering. Okay, 
So I have created my O in the home sign. So I'm just gonna tear the paper and pull it out and you now have your outline. So you have a rough outline of the O and you can put as many nails as you want or as few as you want. And then we are going to next take our yarn and we're going to start by tying off our yarn. So just loop around one of your nails and just do a simple tie and then tie it once more to create a knot. Use your scissors to cut off the excess and then you're going to begin your wrapping. Once you finish with a section, you would need to cut off a long portion of your yarn and then you will want to knot it off again. So just go through the yarn, through one of the, the holes, the loops that you've created, and then come up through the hole oops, and pull tight. And then just do that a few times so that you can fasten it off and make sure that it stays snugly in position. And then again, cut off your excess and then you can just tuck that away. So then we'll move on and finish the rest of our letter. And after that, you just continue down your sign, nailing in um, each of your letters and then looping around with your yarn until you're finished. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and also be sure to visit my sponsors Lion Brand Yarn at lionbrand.com. If you do decide to use today's tutorial, be sure to send me a picture on Twitter, Instagram, or head over to my Facebook fan page and show me what you've created. I'd love to feature it on my social media channels. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.